I'm sure a lot of people in this room have thought science is boring at one point. So here we have a speaker who will be addressing the direction of creativity in the development of kids, more specifically science. Please welcome Dr. Jan Chai Ying Prayun to the stage. Good afternoon, everybody. Do you love science? Oh, I can see your face. Oh, well, <laughs> the people, some people say that science is uh, very boring. Science is very difficult. Today, I'm going to show you how to learn science with fun. Okay? Well, I need some, I need two hands, but anyway. <laughs> Creativity. Well, uh, I would like everybody to follow me, do like this. Okay, everybody? Okay, both thumbs up. Okay, good, good, both thumbs up. Then, do like this, very good. Both thumbs down, then twist. Twist like this, yeah. But, but you have to make sure, both, put both thumbs together like this, uh, okay? And now, uh, slowly flip, 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 flip over. <laughs> Can you do that? Very easy. One more time, one more time. Slowly, okay, slowly, slowly. Both thumbs up, like this, very good. And down, deep breath. And then twist, like this, very good, very good. Again, you have to put both thumbs together like this, okay? All right? And then gradually flip, 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 flip over. Can you do that? Who knows that? Who knows that? Where's your hand? Ah, some of you know, maybe 5%. Okay, give you last chance. Give you last chance. <laughs> this way, this way, okay, this way. Nobody in this world can do that, even I myself. But why? I draw attention to somewhere and I change the position of my hand, like this. You have to, yeah, yeah, like that. Ah, and then I change the position of my hand. <laughs> you got it? So, some people say that, hey, I found, I found that he changed the position of his hand. So, the most important thing that you have to learn about science is observation. You have to have a good observation. And then when you observe, anything changes. Then you ask, what, when, how, when, any. And then you follow this question. Then you can find something, learning science. This is the first thing, observation. If I do not tell you the secret, what do you feel? I did first time, and do not tell you the secret. What do you feel? You want to know, right? <laughs> want to know, right? How? The second point that you have to learn science creatively is to arouse curiosity. If you are curious to learn, then you can find your way to learn with fun, okay? That is the second thing. The third thing is a sense of humor. Sometimes you have to have sense of humor because, oh, it's fun, science is fun, then you love to learn science. Otherwise, oh, well, I'm really boring, I just want to learn science, right? sense of humor. And the fourth one is very important, is uh, development of creativity. How to develop creativity? In my, my point of view, there are five steps to develop creativity. The first step is uh, collect information through your five senses. Okay, eyes, ear, nose, tongue, skin. If you don't believe me, okay, do follow me like this. <laughs> you blow on your hand like this with small hole in your mouth. Small hole, it's cool, right? Now, bro, again with big hole in your mouth. Big different. Small hole give you cool air, but big hole, warm air. Fine. See, it's the same lung, it's the same mouth. Yeah, but why big hole and, and, and big hole give you different uh, the temperature? Things like this, you know. Get information and you think, think uh, brainstorming, making connections, and uh, think out of the box. This is the second step. The third step is if you think over and over again, oh, I couldn't find a solution. Never mind, just do something else. Do something else which is not related to what, to what you're thinking about. And then you, I got it, then you sparkling idea. Okay, when you sparkling idea, just like many scientists, you know, uh, I would like to mention the Niels Bohr, the, science, the physicist. He tried to think about the, the theory of atoms, but he couldn't find. And then he took a bus in London and fell asleep and dreamed about the structure of atoms. And then he can find something, something like that.
okay? And when you found something, then you will develop further for the next uh, uh, knowledge. Okay, this is the five step, okay? Well, uh, let me just show you some um, um, demonstration, okay? If you walk along the street and you hear a car burning a horn, bang, okay, that's fine. But if the car moves towards you, you will hear higher frequency. Bang. If the car moves away from you, you hear lower frequency. Bang. Then if the car moves this way continuously, you will hear three frequencies. Bang, bang, bang. Like this. Right? If the car moves faster, and then finally, an ambulance also changes. <laughs> this is what we call Doppler effect. So we can use this theory to measure the, the, the flow rate of the oil to the pipe or something like that. Okay? Another one. If you want sound, what is sound? What is sound? Sound is a form of energy. Okay? Let me say. I generate sound, right? I give energy to you. Why? I use my chemical energy, the food. Transfer to sound energy. And I eat an animal, okay, like cow or whatever. The cow eat what? Grass. And grass get energy from where? From the sun. So what you hear is the energy from the sun. Okay, <laughs> partially. Because uh, energy can be transformed into different forms of energy, right? Okay. Now, let's talk about the sound. Uh, I have this one. Maybe the young kids, they know that uh, this is, we play with uh, the telephone. Hello, hello, remember? Yes. <laughs> maybe, maybe this age different. <laughs> In my town, you know, we play like this because, because we don't have iPhone, we don't have an iPad or anything. Just like this, okay. And I just do it only one side. Now I can uh, generate the sound like a, a hen. Okay. If you close your eye, you never know. It's a real uh, uh, can or <laughs> this one, okay? Ah. If you like, I have another one. You open your mouth, ah, ah, ah. you say ah. ah, and when you have your mouth like, like uh, small hole, oh, oh. oh. Ah. ah, oh, ah, and all together, ah. okay. I have I, I have here. I have a cup with the hole, ah, ah. and I have oh, ah. <laughs> and then ah, and all together. And the kids say, hey, very interesting. How is that? Then you can teach them about sound. Okay? <laughs> well, another one. Maybe in, in five minutes, right? <laughs> well, um, let's talk about the top, okay? The kids love to, to play top. Okay, like this, I have. Mm, maybe they have never seen this. <laughs> the young kids, the young generation. Well, I will, I will spin the top, okay? If the top does not spin, it cannot stand, right? But if it spin, it can stand, and if it feels a little bit, it will move like this. Okay? Let me show you. We were trying many years ago. I will try here. You have insurance? <laughs> Sense of humor, right? <laughs> okay, so let me just try, all right? Oops. Oh, fall down. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> I can't help it. But anyway, uh, the thing is that if we throw it like this, and it feels a bit, it moves like this. It shows some interesting phenomena. Let me show you this one. Never mind, I don't have the top, I have this one. If you have two cardboard, stick together, and if you spin the cardboard without rotation, it's gone. But if you, if you spin it, Throw it with uh, rotation, it'll come back to you. Come back to you. Guarantee return. Okay, you want to know? Come to my lecture next time. <laughs> all right, this, all this thing, you know, is a really creative thing that it is simple, daily life material, but how can we introduce to the kids to love to learn science? Okay, maybe uh, this is the last show for me. <laughs> Uh, sometimes if you walk along the street, and you see something, observation, observation. Oh, I saw fireflies. Hey, with the light. 
Hmm, interesting, interesting. How can we do something like that? Uh huh. I found this one. I have two liquids. Okay. It's a chemical reaction of the firefly. Okay. Don't worry, no bomb. <laughs> okay, I mix together. You see what? I can show you what happens. Right now, watch this. Watch this. Okay, I hope it works. <laughs> oh, it does not work. Ah, you see, we with separation I have to check it. You see what happened. the light. Maybe it's spoiled already. <laughs> anyway, uh, um, in, I, I got this one from Japan. It's a, a cold weather, but in Thailand it's very hot, so maybe it's fine. But I can see the light you know, coming out from here. It's a, um, a chemical reaction of the firefly. Okay. Well, uh, the last one, I want you to do some simple calculation and give me the answer together, right? 1,000 plus 40. Please, louder, please. Together, together, louder, okay? 1,000 plus 40. 1,000 plus 40. Plus 1,000. 2,040. Plus 30. 2,070. Plus 1,000. 3,070. Plus 20. 3,090. Plus 1,000. 4,090. Plus 10. 5,000. It's 4,100. You see, you have to learn science and mathematics. <laughs> Thank you very much for your attention. Well, that certainly was a very uh, destructive talk. Thank you.